Spencer's Tea here and uh, I'm bringing you a first installment of Spencer's Tea's tips and tricks uh, and a pro spinning tips and tricks. Uh, so today we're going to examine controlling uh, color waves when you're spinning, specifically a braid that you might pick up that has really great color but super short runs of color. Um, so something like this off the bat has really high potential for mud um, because <clears throat> see so the first thing we should do is take a staple length of this fiber so I just take a little bit off the end and you can see if you hold one end of it and tug on the other at your staple length so I know that all the fibers in this braid are about this long which means that every strand in this braid is two if not three colors okay the entire braid has been dyed this way so what that means is you, you might not really care about purple blending with pink or pink with a little bit of orange but when you have one staple length and the beginning of that one strand is blue and purple and then the end of it is orange as you're drafting these hairs out that end of the orange as, at some point are going to meet the beginning of this blue and you're just going to have a lot of um, contrasting contradicting colors that are going to end up making mud or really dulling all this color um, so with something like this with such short runs and a longer staple length you can't really spin across the top I mean you can you can do whatever you want with your fiber but if you want to preserve this color which is why I bought this um, you're not I'm not gonna want to spin across the top because I'm just pulling all this color every time I draft there's no way to spin some yellow and then spin some green separately if I'm drafting spinning across the top of the braid so I'm really limited um, to the only thing I would do with this is strip it down so I have already stripped this in half and then that half I stripped in half again and then that half I stripped in half again so I got about this far um, I think I will go one more down I mean you can you don't have to strip it this far you stop stripping at the point at which you've reached the thickness that you want for your yarn I do want this to get as thin as possible and I feel like I can strip this down one more time without compromising the integrity of the roving meaning it's not all gonna start falling apart into little, little bits So I'm just going to pause this and finish stripping this down and then I'll come back and we'll spin it. Okay so I have finished stripping down that roving and that's as far as I'm going to take it. I'm worried if I take it smaller than this it'll start to break down um, or I may start like drafting some of this into the areas that I don't want to because I can see that's going to happen. Uh, so we're going to start here, I'll bring you guys over to the wheel, I did spin some of it yesterday because I started making this video and then I decided I needed to wash my hair so now bringing it to the wheel what I'm going to do is avoid drafting as much as possible right the whole reason that we prepped it this way is because we knew drafting would just muddy the colors so what I am going to do however is as I'm spinning it not draft it but kind of tug it tug on it a little just so that I can attenuate those fibers and make it easier for myself to smooth them down I don't want like a super fuzzy yarn if you want a super fuzzy yarn that's cool don't don't worry about that then um, but there you can see <clears throat> the colors are clear 
and because I am stripping this down pretty thick um, I can't draft it as thin as I want I likely will not consider making this a two ply and losing all that yardage because it's one braid and I, I want to get more yardage out of this and that's just, this is just another consideration it really I guess doesn't directly affect the technique used to spin this colorway um, but just discussing like now my plan for it after this is I'll probably come back and ply it with a thin maybe white or iridescent thread something my thoughts on this are the color shifts are so quick that if I applied this besides this in the yardage if I applied this on itself it would be extremely busy and I don't like that and I feel like it could become optically muddy applying it back on itself as you can see like those color shifts are happening really quick I don't I don't want to have like a confetti necessarily I mean sometimes that's a good thing in this case I don't want that for this so I will choose to apply it with an iridescent or a white thread to make that color pop and to keep it from getting like overly busy and take it from like fun and colorful to like tacky I don't want to go there with that um, so that's this is just how I'm gonna do the rest of this braid I will leave you guys here I'm gonna strip down the rest of this braid um, I will come back and maybe take a shot with bobbin and I will come back once I'm done plying it so you guys can see how that ended up working out and love to hear your thoughts comments questions ideas uh, drop them in my inbox or comment on this post.